In today's video, I'm going to show you five advanced Photoshop techniques I'm sure that you don't know. Don't believe me? Well, there is only one way to find out. Let's dig into that. The first technique is how to create advanced realistic shadows like this. So let's say we have this bottle and we have light source coming from the top left and we have the shadow part into the right bottom. Let's change this layer into maybe overlay and then let's decrease the opacity. So the way I'm going to create the realistic shadow is by duplicating this image and pressing Ctrl J and then press Ctrl M to bring the curves. Let's make this complete dark and then press OK. Now we have another copy from the layer with completely dark layer and then let's go to filter, blur gallery and path blur. And now let's define the direction of the lightness. It's coming from the top left it's going to the bottom uh, right and then let's uncheck this centered blur and then we can increase the speed like this and maybe the end point speed like this and you can shift the direction depending on the direction of the lightness then press ok and boom you have realistic shadows and if you want to make this softer you can easily go to filter blur and Gaussian blur and soften the edges a little bit maybe decrease the opacity a little bit and yeah you have now realistic shadows you can even move them and put them into the whatever the place you want and here is another example in which I changed the, the color of the shadow to more of bluish color using a solid color and created a clipping mask to it here is before and here is after. Very nice, let's go to the next one. The next trick is to how to create perfect bro level cutouts. So whenever you have some images like this with difficult edges, you may tell me that I can select it using select object tool like this, create a mask and then go to the mask properties, select and mask and using the refine edge tool, I can refine the edges like this. This gives me good results, but when you are working in high-end photo manipulations you don't want to have these white fringes into the edges so how can we get rid of them I use two ways depending on the situation the first one is to depend on this result and then press control and press into the mask and then let's go to select modify and contract the selection way maybe with something like five pixels and then press Control shift i to invert the selection. So if I created a new layer like this and painted, I will paint into anything outer these edges. But what I want is to paint only in these five pixels. So I'm going to create a clipping mask by pressing Alt and pressing between the two layers and then try to paint into these edges. But of course, I don't need to paint with a brush. So what I'm going to do is to paint with the clone stamp tool, going to the clone stamp tool, and then let's pick a source from here and then try to paint into these edges. So what I'm drawing now is to just pick a source from these areas and just clone it here into the new layer. So let's see, here is before and here is after, before, after. This is a very good result as you can see, but if we want to boost it more, the second way that I prefer to use is the best, the ultimate way. So let's just duplicate this layer. And the way I'm going to select this is by manually selecting the hair. Of course, automatic ways are always saving you a lot of time, but if you want the best results, you will always go to the manual ways. Believe me, guys. So let's use the hard edges tool and let's create a mask and paint over all these areas. And what I'm going to do is to bring a hair brush. You can find it anywhere in, in the internet, Brush Easy or any website like this. And for this, I will use this grass brush and try to paint over the edges using this brush. And of course, having a graphic tablet is going to help you in something like this. But if you don't, you can use the mouse. But believe me, if you are into photo manipulation, you will always need to have a graphic tablet. So something like this will be great. It gives me more realistic results. So let's see, here's the one with the, the ordinary way, but here is the one 
with the grass or the hairbrush let's put them together so can you see the difference now between the manual way in which we use the grass or hairbrush we have full control and here is the best way you can get automatically but before we go to the next point let's hear a quick message from today's sponsor skillshare the largest online learning community for creatives with thousands of classes led by industry pros across film illustration design freelance productivity and more now if you are into photo manipulation and photo compositing then you should definitely check out this amazing compositing and retouching class from Carlos Magdi I really like his way of teaching and the the end result of his design is amazing another thing i like about skillshare is the learning paths which can gather different courses for you to start and proceed in a specific field like this one for mastering productivity from ali abdel himself and skillshare launches new premium classes each week that are ad free with some titles for multiple languages and the best part skillshare is always at your fingertips access all the courses all the time anywhere right from your smartphone that is not all i got an exclusive offer just for you the first 500 people to use the, the link in the description will get a one month free trial of skillshare ready to embark on your learning journeys visit skillshare.com and start exploring their courses today thanks to skillshare for sponsoring this video in the next trick we are going to create this god rays realistic effect how can we do this let's make this quickly with each other number one go to select and color range from here let's select the highlights maybe increase the range decrease the fuzziness to only select the absolute highlights and then press ok and next press ctrl j to duplicate these highlights right click convert to a smart object and then change the blending mode of this layer into screen the next step let's go to filter blur and radial blur from here we will go to the zoom change the quality into the best and let's roughly put the center of the this motion radial blur so it, it's gonna it's going to be somewhere right here into this uh, part and then increase the amount of the blur so something like this and then press ok and boom you have now the god rays effect very realistic and you can always go and change its color so let's press ctrl m maybe we can go to the reds increase the reds and go to the blues increase the yellows and the greens to increase the greens so here is before and here is after all right the next trick is also related to the fringes so if you have an image like this and you want to select uh, these rocks from the background you will tell me simply let's go to select color range and select this white color and then press ok and then let's create a mask press ctrl i to invert the mask and boom the rocks are selected but the main problem here are these white fringes so how can we get rid of them quickly because we can of course use channels use any other ways but this way is very simple and it's very quick so here is the way let's activate the mask and then let's go to filter other and minimum by increasing the radius i'm now pushing the borders of the mask inside and because these are round shapes i will change this into roundness and now as you can see in just one second the edges are gone so let's see here is before and here is after so the next trick will be a lifesaver when it comes to creating flame effects or fire effects like this by the way if you want to know how to create amazing visuals like this step by step you will find it into my ultimate course into photo manipulation into the link in the description okay so how can we create this flame effect here is before and here is after let's start by creating a new layer and next we will use the pen tool to draw the shape of the flame something like this and we can always edit it later and then let's go to filter render and flame and from this you will have access to unlimited amount of flame effects from here so for example let's choose one flame along path and let's change its width something like this let's go to the advanced options decrease the turbulent of the flame increase or decrease the jagginess increase the opacity to make it very bright decrease the complexity 
whatever do whatever you want and then press ok and boom you have now a flame let's delete this path and then let's press ctrl t using the warp tool you can always change its shape so something like this would be great then press ok and the next step we are going to create a new layer change its blending mode into linear dodge and using the soft rounded brush i'm going to use a very saturated bright orangey color and give it a touch like this let's make this more reddish and we can always go and decrease the fell the best way i like into this linear dodge effect is that it is one of the special modes into photoshop in which when you decrease the opacity it gives you different results from decreasing the fell when i'm decreasing the fell now it's in, it's decreasing the effect itself not the opacity which i like most and then using the eraser you can erase and tweak it as you want and maybe using the brush you can then paint the lights however you want so let's see here is before here is after all right guys i hope you benefited and most importantly had fun if you want to learn how to create amazing visuals like these step by step i have good news for you because my premium course the ultimate guide to photo manipulation is now released and you can find it in the link in the description you'll find also all the stock images used the psd files and all the brushes used the link in the description and yeah if you want more tricks like this you'll find it into this video peace